Hello guys, Pancakes here with my next entry into Let's Play Bioshock. And I will be back after this, I guess, beginning intro. Now you had the pleasure of Andrew Ryan's company. He's the one who built this place. Exactly what happened. Maybe he went mad. Maybe the power got to him. Maybe he just decided he didn't like people. Whichever way you slice it, good man died. My family's in a submarine hidden in the foundation of Fontaine Fisheries. I'll meet you there. What crawls in my garden? Alright. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I tried putting subtitles on. And they kind of lag a little bit, I guess. And I can't really control that, but hopefully that'll help uh, for some of you who might not be able to uh, understand what's being said. And uh, some people were wondering why I didn't fight that big daddy. And why I just kind of ran past him in the, uh, the last section. And that's because in hard mode, the better idea, this is kind of the strategy I used. And uh, when I did my survivor run on uh, the PS3, which is basically a uh, difficulty that's only on the PS3 that um, is like hard mode plus. So it's even harder than hard mode, basically. And when you're playing on uh, survivor mode in Bioshock, when you fight the big daddies, if you shoot him once with a shotgun shell, it barely damages him. <laughs> and uh, as a result of that, you need to find uh, ways to um, to take them out without just engaging them head on. And in hard mode, I mean, I suppose you could feasibly beat them just head on with like without grenade launcher or anything like that. But it's a lot harder. And my basic strategy is to get the grenade launcher in this game and then go back to fight it because it makes it a lot easier as you will see I think in the uh, later sections and that's kind of what I do my, my, my method for killing big daddies is to sort of lay traps and to try to um, beat them using different things and as you unlock more things in the game you can you have more more options and how you can approach different situations and a lot of this game is about strategically finding your way to um, deal with different situations, which is something I, I definitely like. Um, you know, it's a shooter, but it's not really a straight up shooter because a lot of what you do revolves around how you can effectively set traps and use your plasmid and things like that. It's definitely a very, it's a very uh, strategic game in that sense for sure. And this here is the spider splicer and you don't really want to fight her here because she has a lot of health and uh, I don't know if you can kill her in this section but if you can it's dead. I mean look at that. <laughs> I hit her with a wrench and you barely see any uh, damage on her health bar so I think your best option here is just to uh, 
avoid her and to try not to get hit by her because eventually a security bot will come in and chase her away as you will see it happens automatically it's not really something you do Alrighty, and so basically my objective now is to find a research camera. So here I'm really just kind of uh, taking it easy, um, just trying to pick up supplies. It's always good to search everything in this game, that's it's definitely one thing you have to remember to do. And you will learn very quickly and it just becomes natural that whenever you see something you automatically go up to it and press A to search it. And <laughs> I don't know if anybody's played this game, but the aiming feels so much different than uh, than uh, Modern Warfare. So I sometimes have a hard time hitting what I'm shooting at because uh, it it just feels, I guess, a little bit more sluggish. I don't know that's the word to describe it. Uh, I'm not really sure, but can uh, it sometimes makes it hard for me to hit my targets, and there are, I. Tr Got to switch the talk, and he says, "Don't ask how that happened." <laughs> and uh, some people have asked if I played through this game already, and I have. I'd say I've played through this maybe five times. I mean, it's one of my favorite games of this generation. So something must be done about Fontaine. I've when played it quite a bit. Buildings and fish futures. He was cornering the market on genotypes and nucleotide sequences. Rapture. It's transforming before my eyes. The great chain is pulling away from me. Perhaps it's time to give it up. Anti-person all around are definitely very useful in this game as well. Um, because especially in the beginning of the game and when you get into the later levels too, um, the enemies become harder to kill, and just using the regular bullets on them soon becomes sort of ineffective, and it takes a lot of bullets to kill just an average splicer, so the special ammo types come in handy when you're dealing with uh, some of the more difficult enemies. Get some proximity mines here, and uh, proximity mines are your best friend when dealing with big daddies. And like I said, when I fight a big daddy later on, I'll show you exactly what I mean. But, uh, you definitely want to uh, try to collect as many grenades, heat seeking RPGs, and things like that as you can. Because when it comes to uh, fighting big daddies, the uh, grenade launcher is usually your best friend. And then other than that, um, this part of the video is almost over. I'll try to get the next part up uh, faster. I mean, I've been really busy lately with schoolwork and stuff. But uh, I'll get those up whenever I can. And uh, hope, you guys, um, hope you guys can be patient. I, I'm, I'm trying to get these up as 
as quickly as I can. And, uh, yeah. So, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Somebody to watch. Once he was just a menace to be convicted and hung. But he always manages to be where the evidence isn't. He's the most dangerous type of hoodlum. The kind with vision. <laughs>